What's up, friends? I'm Rick. Make sure to hit that like button. Today, we got a lot of things going down in gaming news, so let's get straight into squad news. Nintendo's online service is something that's been talked about quite a bit before and it's been delayed and there's been questions and concerns and we got a tiny bit of more info that I'm a little interested in. Nintendo's managing executive officer Shinya Takahashi said there's going to be some aspects of the company's new paid online service that'll be worth the wait. And Nintendo president Tetsumi Kimishima said that the online service is just going to be one component of the company's plan to diversify how their games are played. Long story short, the more I read into this, it's basically them promising us it's not just going to be an online service. They're going to be adding different things and different elements, probably free games, and some other things that we might not be aware of yet to get us Nintendo Switch online fans excited. But with that, a lot of questions are also raised, like does Nintendo Switch really have that many games to play online that would justify paying $20 a month? I myself think so. There are some games if you dig. Not many of the big AAA games, but there's a lot of indie games out there that do support some fun multiplayer online experiences. And let me know if you guys think this Nintendo online service overall will be a success and run smoothly. Ubisoft is the leading third-party developer for the Nintendo Switch. In a third-quarter financial results briefing today, Ubisoft revealed that Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle has been the highest-selling third-party game on the Switch. This is interesting news to me because I know Ubisoft and Nintendo worked together closely in the past, and there's also been a couple times where Nintendo was snubbed by Ubisoft, but for this it excites me because I loved Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, so I'm hoping to see a sequel come out, Ubisoft dive more or into adding some games specifically for the Nintendo Switch. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want to see Ubisoft and Nintendo doing more together? And also, congratulations Ubisoft. I've seen the passion and heart you guys have put into Mario Rabbids and other games on the Nintendo systems. I'm not much of a fan of sports, but if I went to this very specific basketball game recently, I think I would have been really interested in what was going on during the halftime show. At a basketball game between Golden State Warriors and the San Antonio Spurs, we got to see a unique piece of God of War marketing. During the halftime show, they projected some God of War PlayStation 4 footage onto the NBA court. Like I said, I don't follow anything with sports or basketball, so I'm not sure if this is the first time this has been done or not, but I find it really interesting and it really unique place to really market themselves. I'm not sure if the people watching were interested in this or not, so I'm curious to know how this marketing played out, but check out some of the footage for yourself. It's pretty interesting to watch. The electric man or beast known as Blanca will be making his way to Street Fighter V just in a few days. On February 20th, Blanca will be available for the cost of $5.99 of your real money or 100,000 fight money in the game's virtual currency. For those of you dedicated Blanca fans, this is exciting. I myself have been terrible with Blanca since day one of playing a Street Fighter game in my younger youth, but let me know if you guys are excited to see this. I think you are because when I was looking at gaming news, this seems to be like something that everybody's talking about. Speaking of fighting games, there is a fighting game in the works that could be coming out that is all about YouTubers and surprisingly it doesn't seem really douchey, it seems really awesome. A French indie developer known as Hushayiv Games, I think that's how you say it, has brought us its crazy new game called Subscribe and Punch straight to Kickstarter. The game is made up by a group of French students and junior animators and the game takes plenty of inspiration from real life YouTubers and they're not really trying too hard to hide. Some of the guys' names in this are PewDiePie, Jackaboy, Toasty Ken, and Marky Moo. And it turns them into what looks to be like a Cartoon Network type style vibe, but it looks really, really good and really, really well done. In a fighting game, fluidity to me is always super important. And in this game, from what I'm seeing just on Kickstarter, it does look like there is some really solid movements going on in the game. So I myself might have to throw myself into the ring with a little cash just to make sure that I can get my hands on this game as soon as it comes out because it looks really good to me. I'm not going to lie. Despite it being YouTubers, even if it wasn't, I just love the animation style. It looks like something I'm going to want to be a part of. 
That's it for today, guys. And if you guys want to hear my annoying voice more and the other guys in this office, make sure to subscribe. Also, to hit the like button to show some support. It means a lot to us. That's it from us here at Superhero Game Squad. I hope you have a marvelous day.